final games of the group stage have concluded and we now know who is making it to the round of 16. We have the big teams, but there's also some very surprising teams as well. Boys, are we ready to predict who will be winning the round of 16? I'm ready. Let's go, Millie. And by the way, do not forget, we need to subscribe also before the video gets started. Make sure you do. Boys, we are almost there. 100K is around the corner. We just need a couple more subs, but thank you all for the support. A celebration will be happening over at box to box That is only right that we do that. All right, boys, let's get straight into it. The first matchup is Italy versus Switzerland. Listen, as Italians, are we nervous about this game? Millie, I'll answer that very quickly. We are nervous. Switzerland is a good team, but everybody's writing off Italy. Italians are writing off Switzerland. Why, there's a reason why. Now look, first game for Italy was, I would say if Pretty I could good. give it a grade, I'd give it a B minus. I agree. Second grade, second game, we just got absolutely dominated, which I would say is an F. And then this yes. game, C minus or D plus. So considering all those results, how we we're going to lose to Switzerland 2-1 in extra time. That's crazy, Varvar. Oh my goodness. I, there's no biasness here. You guys are extremely biased because you, you guys, I don't know why you guys envision yourself as these hardcore Italians. Envision, brother. <laughs> envision, we, we are. That's crazy. <laughs> I am, at least. <laughs> Sometimes the bias creeps in a little bit. I'm not saying Switzerland is a bad team, but I'm saying Italy will progress. It's I'm not tough. saying it's Switzerland's tough. a bad team. I'm just saying. I mean, because Switzerland is one of the tougher teams. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. I heard Switzerland. I'm like, uh, no, that's one of those teams that like we will perform poorly against, but I think we'll still do enough to get through. I'm saying 2-1 Italy. Listen, when you look at it on paper, Italy has a very good team compared to Switzerland. In my eyes, we need to win this. Skamaka this, would not start for the 1932 Switzerland team. Name me one. Name me one good Switzerland attacker. Mbolo. Mbolo's legacy is greater than Skamaka as a chief. Really? Entire, yes. Really? I'm not. That I'm not even kidding. You are uh, wild. Uh, that's to say a, that. You, that is a uh, Europa League winner, by the way. When will? Snack. Is when? that also a <laughs> Barbar citizenship? Snack. <laughs> when will you guys realize? Skamaka actually just sucks. He just doesn't score, but that doesn't mean he sucks. He just doesn't do anything. Strikers nowadays are not six scoring foot, goals, If he wasn't brother. six foot four and have neck tattoos, you were you would not be like attracted to him. That's the only reason. Attracted. That's the only reason why you rate him. Firms, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. Skamaka has been somewhat disappointing, somewhat. Like, but disappointing uh, across the board with our strikers. Raspadori, Pellegrini, and we got no Calafiori Retegi. this game. We got no Calafiori this game. We got no Calafiori this but that's game. That's why I'm, I'm I'm saying Switzerland's gonna get a goal. I just don't see Italy scoring. Like that's the problem. Defensively, we are class. I think this is gonna be like a a zero zero stalemate, low key boring game. We go to penalties, we beat them. If the heart rate is pumping that fast already in the round of 16 frames, I'm not looking forward to the rest of the games. If we progress, if we win this round, low key, I could see us making the finals. The no, path no is cap. set. If Spalletti plays the players that are supposed to be playing, we, we could go far. I, I love, believe in I it. I love the optimism for him, so I'm not going to lie. I, I hope so. I hope we do. But Switzerland is a big test to start off. So, Varvar, you're the only one that has Switzerland winning this game. I'm the only one that's not biased. There's our predictions for the first match of the round of 16. The next matchup, it is England versus Slovakia. Seems a little one-sided here, but... Off those England performances, I'm not counting Slovakia out just yet. When Kobe Mainu came in in that second half, I actually saw... If, if Gareth Southgate does not start Cole Palmer and Kobe Mainu, they're cooked. They might be. But we're talking about Slovakia here, so I don't, I don't know. Are they that cooked? They are that cooked because, brother, every single game that England has played up until now looks like it would it would have headed to penalties the, uh, you're right because yeah the draws here draws there it has not been convincing at and all and you cannot afford a team like slovakia even the slightest glimpse of hope in something like a penalty shootout where it's basically 50 50. if that happens i'm sorry but england england needs to win like i am in sorry. convincing fashion too because this like a, momentum is going to drag into the next round too. If they want to win the cup, they need to win this game. Slovakia is not an opponent you'll face in the semifinals. Win 
2-0 at least, in my opinion, to be convincing. Sometimes firms, that might be too much to ask for. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, from what we've seen in the, in the group stages, you cannot string more than, like, two, three good plays together. Try to score. As soon as they score, they might score in the second minute. The next 88 minutes... It's sit back and uh, hope for the best. That's exactly what I'm predicting is going to happen. I'm going to go one nothing England. I was leaning towards the same thing. I'm not. I don't think it's going to be high scoring at all. I think it can be one nothing England as well. I heard some rumors that Foden might not be playing. He's not. He went to go attend to the birth of his child potentially. I mean, understandable. But I but I think he might be back by the time the game starts. Okay. But I, I mean, Foden has been so shit that it that doesn't determine my thinking. That's I think they're actually better off with him not in the lineup. No, but exactly. Like if he's not there, I think someone like Palmer could actually shine and really prove his worth in a team like this. Palmer did more in 20 minutes than Foden did in the rest of the tournament. That's so. what I'm saying. So I think, I don't know, it's going to be a low scoring game, maybe a 1-1. But depending on how, who's playing, like Kobe Mino hopefully starts, Palmer balls out. I see them winning in the penalties. If, and I'm putting this out now, if Trent starts in midfield, I'm going Slovakia to win in penalties. Oh my goodness. That... Southgate had three games to figure out this team, and if he has not figured it out if yet, he doesn't that's know on him. that Kobe Manu equals we ball out. Then the sport ain't that's not just, how it works. The, the sport just ain't for you. I guess we're gonna need to see who Southgate starts in that midfield if Trent is there. Good luck, England. But the next game up, it is Austria versus Turkey. One team, Austria, coming off a fantastic group stage performance, but Turkey, not so bad either. So I know I haven't been a big fan of Vincenzo Montella, Turkey's coach, but I, I, th I see them gaining a little bit of momentum here. They're, they got a couple of wins now in the group stage. They tied. Listen, this is a good team with some good players. And on the other side, you got Austria, who have been insane, topping the group with France and Netherlands. But low key, I see a little bit of a, a Turkey chance over here. No, no, I see it the complete other way. I think that Turkey press is gonna that Turkey press. The Austria press. The Austria press is gonna completely overwhelm Turkey. I'm going three or four one for Austria. I blowout. That's crazy. I would agree with you, Vavra. But when you look at the players like Yildiz and Arda Guler, these are players that could get out of the press no problem. Yeah, but the press is not your right winger and left winger. It's your defenders. Get the ball to them. So kick it long to Arda Guler and Yildiz. I don't think that's a winning strategy. I just don't see them making a mark on this game. Austria have been playing so, so well. I'm not saying it's going to be 4-1, but I would say maybe like a 2-1 situation, Austria. Like maybe Turkey sc scores early on, but then Austria comes back. I think that'd be a very, I think this is one of the more entertaining games on the slate. I agree with you, Millie. I think it's going to be a high-scoring game. I'm envisioning like a 3-2, but I'm going to go Turkey side. I think it's going to be a 3-2 Turkey, maybe like a last-minute goal. You never know. I think they have a chance here. You guys are Sabitzer, writing them off. Sabitzer, man of the match. This uh, Sabitzer remontada arc that we're experiencing right now is one for the ages. It's been class. Bring it back to United? I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> you keep him at Dortmund. You could keep McTominay. Got to keep your feet on the ground. Yeah, I keep, yeah, Sabitzer, humble yourself. You're still a Dortmund player. <laughs> The next matchup is between Romania and Netherlands. If you told me Romania was going to be in a round of 16, I would not have believed you. But here they are, and they're facing the Dutch. This is going to get ugly. This is going to get very... 4 nothing Netherlands. Oh, my God. No, I don't even like the Netherlands. I had them as my flop of the tournament. But Romania, you're buns. I'm sorry. They you're actually crazy. suck. You got to give them credit, bro. Romania has shown that they have the quality. They won, passed it around 16 at they least. They won their first game 3 nothing, and they weren't even that good. The rest of the thing, they just were like a... They were a pass-around toy. That's a lot of talk, uh, Varva, for a team that topped the group. I'm expected to believe that that ninja at right back uh, for for, uh, for <laughs> the Romania, guy with the, the guy with the blue hair who looks like ninja, is expected to defend Xavi Simmons and Cody Gakmo and stuff. Come on, man. I mean, you're saying their names as if they're scoring two goals a game, brother. They have done nothing. They might get mercy rule might be on the way. No, you are nuts, bro. That's crazy. Ro Romanian fans, you know what to do, bro. You Scotland's know what's going to do. be picking his nose for 90 minutes. I have Netherlands obviously going through. They're my underdogs determined. They were yours, two firms. Yes. I do see them going through. Probably going to be like a 2-0 game. I, it seems boring saying like just 2 nothing, but but the problem is that these, these games in the round of 16, it's just sometimes there's overwhelming favorites that even if you try to go against the grain, 
it's so unrealistic. I'm like Professor Strange. Is that the guy from Marvel, Professor Strange, who goes through like 10,000 possibilities? Doctor Strange. Doctor I, Strange. Doctor Strange, I went through 10 trillion possibilities and not a single one includes a Romania. Not goal. even a single one, Not bro. a single one includes Romania actually even scoring. You're a Romania hater. I'm not a Romania hater. I'm a Romania realist. A realist. Listen, I think Netherlands has a good team here and ultimately quality superstars in that team will prevail. So I'm going to go like a 3-1 Netherlands, but I wouldn't count the Romania out. I think they have a good team as well, just not as good as Netherlands. Now we're headed to the other side of the bracket. It is Spain versus Georgia. Georgia make it through on the third place finish, but Spain nine points in their group. They look dominant. This is going to get ugly as well. I know I'm a, I know I'm an honorary Georgian citizen <laughs> because uh, I don't know, the Georgians just be vibing with me. They do. But uh, three nothing Spain. Three nothing Spain. Yeah. So, damn, no Mamar Dershvili. No, Maybe. Mamar Dershvili is going to save three XG and still lose three nothing. That's how bad it's going to get. That's a shame. And not even a, a shot on target or nothing for Georgia. Kavara Skelia Masterclass. Mm, not even a goal. I'll run through my possibilities. One second. There's a 1% chance they score. Oh my god. Mikalce, not even him. Mikal Tatse, there's a 1% chance he scores. Would it be crazy if I said Georgia to win this game? Yeah. I can't, I can't. Yes, you can. I can. I believe you can, Millie. If you really wanted to, honestly, I was I was kind of I was That's kind the of the biggest lie ever. No, I'm not kidding. Bro, it's the biggest If you lie. do it, I'll do it. We put S tier. We put Spain in S tier. If you do it, brothers. I'll do it, bro. I can't do that, bro. I can't do that. You know what? I'm going Georgia. Oh, you're Georgia. Nuts. I'm going Georgia 2 1. 2 1? Who's well, going to go? 1 1 in pens. I'll take Georgia. That's oh crazy. That's power of French. Mikal right Tatse, goal. Brace. That's crazy. You know what? Georgian stand up, man. Georgia, stand up. So listen, Robert, I can't call. I can't do it. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. I ain't doing it. I'm going to say Spain 2 0. Georgia, Kvarskelia, you did enough this tournament, but you, your road ends in Spain. Listen, I think Spain does not have a good defense. Lenormand, Laporte do not convince me. No, Laporte has not dropped off since he left. He's been okay, but Lenormand has been low-key overrated. I think Georgia could get a goal here. I just don't see them beating Spain. I think it's going to be a 2-1, Mikautse goal, and then Laminia Mal, Nico Williams. Mikau Tatse. Mikau Tatse, I'm so sorry. And if sorry. people wonder why I changed my mind so quickly from 3-0 Spain to a Georgia win, you should just know at this point, I just go out vibes. And I'm just sure, vibing with Georgia right now. Tacticos, vibes, vibes. Yeah, vibes are more important. All right, let's see where the vibes take us for the next matchup. It is Germany versus Denmark. The hosts will be facing a, a, a Danish team that did all right, but not too great in the groups. Now, I wish I could pick my boy Hoyland and Ericsson in this one. Womp womp. But I can't. So I'm going to go Germany 3-1. I'm glad you could take out your buys from this. I think this is going to be a thrashing. I'm going to go even higher. I'm going to go 4-0. No, okay. no. I need Denmark you. are a solid side. Yeah. Denmark are good, but they have no strikers. Their defense has not been... They have the best young striker in the world. Uh, well, Stop he's actually it. not showing up, first of all, for this Euros, but you keep saying he's the best if you want. Well, where's Haaland's goals this Euro? Anyways, where's, back to Denmark. Where's Julian Alvarez's goal this year? Yeah, where, where's Julian Alvarez's goals in this Euro? Bro, has Messi ever scored in the Euro? Yeah. Never. That's why he's not the GOAT, bro. That's why he's not the GOAT. Ronaldo's the GOAT. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anyways, we'll get to Portugal soon. But listen, for this game, I don't know. I don't, I, Germany Germany have to do much better than that third, that third match day game that they did because it was not convincing enough. But I do see it being like, like a 3-1 Germany. 3-1 situation. So like he's just following me. That's kind Wait, of Wait, what did you say? 3-1 Germany. Anyway, Millie MC! I would no. have been part of Millie MC! See, now it's going to change to 1-1. <laughs> Germany win an extra time 2-1. Yeah. That's, that's Denmark, I'm going to change to 1-1. One, one. No, 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 no. Germany's no, going to win an extra time 2-1. No. Anyways, I'm going back to 3-1. <laughs> <laughs> Anything vibes. to avoid whatever Varvar said. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Last thing I'm going to say before we move on. Musiala, you are a joy to watch. Bellingham, you can't chat to him. <laughs> Bro, Musiala is low-key better. Brother, what? Bellingham has been stinking it up all I love Bellingham, though. It's he just has been stinking it up. Musiala actually is that guy sometimes. 
Well, just like, show, just for Germany, because uh, every every two years people forget that he plays for Bayern, and then because uh, Bayern yeah, he shit. just shows up for the like Euros. You, like Bellingham's dropping one of those, you know, when you have to like bend over on the toilet. And <laughs> this. Like he's dropping one of those. So you were gonna see the the controller, and you have to <laughs> yeah. lean on because no, you're that that losing. Musiala. That's Musiala. You know when you have to put your feet in the air. Like that's what Bellingham dropped. When, right when you gotta take off your shirt and start going <laughs> yeah. like this. Yeah. That's what it, <laughs> When you gotta take out your shirt when you're sweating. Bro, when, when you're reading the bottle of a shampoo, <laughs> you're just trying to distract yourself. That, the that, that the just brother had to hit the saka. He had to take off and show that something's hurting. You know what I mean? He started breathing. He's like... <laughs> he's having one of those 2 a.m. 2 a.m. episodes. That's what he's having. Enough, enough talking about shit, bro. <laughs> you got too much experience with that, Millie. It happens a lot, bro. I'm not gonna cap. Okay, it happens more often than you think. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, Anyways, Germany winning. Wait, when it was you lift up your feet. <laughs> your toes are curling. Oh, you're, you're trying to spread your leg up and down, up and down. You're like moving. You start rocking back and forth. <laughs> yeah. You try to stand up, you're like, oh, I gotta stretch. <laughs> anyway, say something so it's a clean <laughs> We've all been through it, Millie. Next team up. The next matchup is Portugal versus Slovenia. Ronaldo and his boys will have to get through uh, Sheshko. <laughs> Sheshko and his boys. <laughs> Sheshko. They got KD? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we got... We got Jane McDen. <laughs> <laughs> the next matchup is Portugal versus Slovenia. Ronaldo's going to have to have a better showing because in the groups, he has been a ghost. But Slovenia with Sheshko. We're going to have to see, but Portugal is one of the toughest teams of the round of 16. Bro, respect Ronaldo. He's been having a pretty good tournament so far. Stank. I mean, by Ronaldo's standards, it's, it's stanky. Now, what right? are you expecting? Hat tricks? But, yeah. Come brother, on. With that brother's That's playing you... a full 90. We're talking about 40 year old be... Ronaldo over here, boys. And he's still getting full 90 treatment, brother. Look, this Slovenia team has been better than I expected, but Portugal are my winners. I'm going to go for 2 0 Portugal here. Solid, disciplined performance from start to finish. Listen, Varvar, remember that Sheshko shot in the other prediction video? Brother, Sheshko has been a ghost this turn. He hasn't scored yet, but guess what? He will be scoring against Portugal. Giving this... superstar treatment to Sheshko is insane. Bro, he's good. <laughs> he's good. Anything to back him up? No, he's good. He's good. <laughs> when you look at the baller, his movement is perfect. His ball striking is perfect. <laughs> Brother, this is, Bro, is this is time, up, time to shine. You're trying to hype him up. This Portugal team is the strongest uh, Ronaldo has ever played on. But Ronaldo has never had a supporting cast like this, brother. The, the, Slovenia is not where this ends. I'll tell yeah. you something. If Leao starts this game, Losing. then no. <laughs> if Leao starts this game, Portugal wins. Has, uh, Slovenia, <laughs> Slovenia have won nothing. If Leao starts this game, this is this is Portugal easy win. But if Leao doesn't start, Portugal have not have have not had a good attack. This might be a... Leao uh, is not the is not the defi deciding factor between Portugal being good and bad, brother. He's the only one running Bruno in behind. Is. Yeah, that, they, they dropped him against, they dropped him against uh, Georgia. Look at what happened, bro. So did they, Leao. The boys are playing the bongos right now. <laughs> but Portugal, even with their secondary team, if they make a couple rotation plays, like, I just don't see them losing brother slovenia congrats made it to run a 16. take it to, take it back home take it to the bank take it to the bank you can put it on in your transfer market uh description at the top <laughs> but portugal they're too strong to be out of the round of 16. they're going through one nothing i would say one nothing just to give slovenia the benefit of the doubt my final prediction is a 1-1 portugal slovenia Sheshko scores leao scores and then they go in extra time and Portugal wins 2-1. Everyone's happy. Who scores in extra time? Ronaldo. Okay, good. I thought you were going to say Leal. He's already off the field in the 70th. He already got yanked at yeah. the 65th minute. Yeah. The boys have made their picks. We're now on to the last matchup. It is the headliner of the round of 16. France versus Belgium. Two juggernauts in Europe will be facing off so early in the tournament. This is kind of crazy, boys. Labeling Belgium a juggernaut is kind of crazy, but... This is a game I can actually see both teams winning. Like, huh? Both sides? Low key Belgium, for their point, to their point total has not shown what they've actually played. They've actually played well, in my opinion. So, they just debatable. haven't been able to finish anything. Yeah, I agree. But that's not because of Lukaku. 
That um, is one hundred percent because literally because of Lukaku. Um, I'm gonna go for two one France. This is another game where like I feel like it might be a snooze fest until Mbappe shows up. I'm gonna go like a one zero situation for France. I honestly think this game is arguably the only one that I could see going to penalties. I think this could go very very deep. I think France they they need to get their act together because they have not shown in the group stages that they could win this tournament. My issue with this Belgium team against France is how are you going to defend Mbappe? You don't have a single defender who you can confidently say he can go up against Mbappe. It's going to be Castagne versus Mbappe. Yeah, but disaster. But that I don't think is is necessary. You don't need a solid one-on-one -on -one defender because honestly Mbappe has not had a good Euros bro, at all. Bro, Mbappe is going to toast up those Kastains like they're like yeah, it's yeah, Christmas Yeah, just like day. it's Christmas time, it's bro. Gonna, it's Christmas day for Mbappe. He's going to toast up those Kastains like they're nothing. He's not in shape right now. He's he's banged up. It's the mask, bro. The guy can't even see behind them. Like, uh, can't. his peripheral vision is... is. This might be a mask off situation. Mask <laughs> off. Mask off. Mask off. I do see this going to penalties, but France just getting the edge. Belgium, they just don't have the quality to make it through. I think this is the end of their golden era. The Bruyne gone. Lukaku maybe has one more tournament left in him. They're still calling up Yannick Carrasco. Brother. I mean, that guy Lukaku, four years ago Lukaku was Lukaku is almost close to finish because when you're getting linked to AC Milan, I mean, time, Brother, you're beyond finish. time is ticking. Tick, tick, tick. Brothers, the, the I, will, to get get a little louder. Got, I will be there when these agendas will switch around. Varvar, you'll be the first to switch it around. I mean, if you if he can openly beat the AC Milan allegations, I'll say he's not finished. Mm, we'll see. And there you have it. We have made our predictions for the round of 16. We're going to have to see these games and see what happens because these matchups might go either way. But boys, I think, I think we're pretty accurate. And once again, thank you so much for the support. Let us know your predictions in the comments. And that's about it. And we have a second video coming for you this weekend. Double upload incoming.